afternoon. Today is Wednesday, July the 24th, as the month is quickly going by. And this is Dorothy Simon over at Channel Cable Channel 3, and I'm sitting in for Jim Lakey. You can catch us also on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And more than that, we love to see you pay a visit over at the center. Visit us any morning from 9 until 12. And remember that we have here at the center different um, medical equipment that is available for loan. So if you do have a need for some medical equipment, call us or visit us and come and see what other services that we do have to offer. Today's weather pattern, there seem to be heavy winds and heavy rains are the dominant threats in the weather today. Um, these winds bring damaging um, hail and in some areas, localized areas, there is flooding and um, some of the hail storms can be quite deadly uh, with large hail um, that has been falling in the area. In the Midwest, the high pressure is dominating the region and keeping the area mostly dry. And so we should have um, some more thunderstorms though uh, uh, that are coming off the Rockies, uh, developing over the Rockies west of us and um, that is uh, in the late afternoon or the early evening we could see more of the thunderstorm pattern. And some of these thunderstorms can be very strong and with high winds uh, and like I said, lots of hail. But right now in the square, uh, it is mostly cloudy with a pleasant um, 75 degrees after a very refreshing uh, morning with the temperatures of the low 50s. It's very pleasant outside, rather cloudy right at 75 and this afternoon we should see the highs in the 90s with a 20% chance of rain with the winds coming east to northeasterly at 12 miles an hour and tonight temperature the lows could be down in the 60s high 60s 68 degrees with the winds coming from the southeast at 11 miles per hour Tomorrow, Thursday, it should be partly cloudy in the morning with isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. 30% chance of rain and with that will come a high humidity, 61% humidity and winds 15 miles per hour coming in from the south, southeasterly direction. The high in the afternoon should be right in the mid 80s and the night time could bring some more lightning, lots of lightning shower, um, storms. And an 80% chance of rain tomorrow evening, 83% uh, humidity, and a low in the 66% area, six, six, six degrees Fahrenheit, the low tomorrow evening. Friday, we should see more of these um, scattered thunderstorms, 60% chance of rain, a little bit less humidity, um, 72%, and a high of 83, and the nighttime lows in the mid 60s with some clear skies. In the community, we have a birthday greeting for Mackenzie Kirby. So if you see Mackenzie, wish her a happy birthday. And the Red Cross is sending out uh, an alert because they do have a great need for blood. And so they are putting on a blood drive. They're hosting a blood drive on August the 9th. Please mark your calendars and um, you will hear more of this. And if you can donate blood, mark your calendars for August the 9th. 
11 o'clock to 4 p.m. at the IOOF gym. At, that is located at 700 East 1st. Do there's a great need for blood because the supplies have run low and they have fewer people that are donating blood. Uh, tomorrow, uh, this is for the parents of the ages birth to five year olds. Tomorrow, there's a free developmental screening for preschool children at the Church of Christ at 609 East Pearl. Uh, they're going to screen for some motor skills, some concept skills, communication, social development, vision and hearing and other um, developments. So please call over there at 620-549-3504. Uh, call if you would like to have um, some time to have your children screen for those. I know that can be very beneficial if the kids are screened early and find out what's happening. And that's tomorrow, so please call now if you would like to go. And the Stafford County, if you are golfers, they are, uh, the golf course is offering a no green fees come August the 1st. So you can play free. You can play golf for free, says the spokesman, Marty Ziegler. So please call over there if you're interested in golf, and that's a good activity for the young people. I know they do have some classes for the young people this summer. And come August the 1st, there will be no green fees. So call over there if you would like to go and play some golf. And on Tuesday, August, July the 30th, uh, the Senior Center is having a trip to Dodge City Casino. The cost is right at $10. And um, the bus would be leaving at 8 in the morning, and they should return between 2.30 and 3 in the afternoon. Uh, if you'd like to go, it's only $10. So do call over at the Senior Center for more information. And uh, over at the First United Methodist Church, the children are having a great time at the Vacation Bible School. They're learning um, how to be neighborly and how to treat your neighbors. And of course, the, there's a global concept of neighboring, and they're learning about different countries and what. Um, what the activities and customs in different countries. And I know the children are having a lot of fun. They're, they're learning to be good neighbors to people all over the world. So bring them out to enjoy singing and lots of crafting, games, and sharing God's word. And on Friday, the parents are invited to see a, sh a short program uh, of the things the children have learned and it will be preceded by a light supper and an exhibition of the crafts that the children have made. It's a lot of fun and I know the young people are enjoying it, so bring them out to enjoy the Vacation Bible School. And we do have our menus, or weekly menus, over at the Maxville Center. Today is menu. Uh, is an appetizing roast beef with gravy and mashed potatoes, carrot, raisin, side dish. Um, of course, there's always bread, but there's a tropical fruit salad. And tomorrow, they will serve a lasagna with peas and a perfection gelatin salad, French bread and fruit yogurt parfait. And Friday, it's baked fish, hash brown potatoes, capri vegetables, cinnamon roll, and a fruit mix with mandarin oranges and marshmallows. I always sort of feel hungry when I read this. <laughs> and over at the Sunflower Center, today they're 
serving a pork cutlet with mushroom sauce and noodles, Italian vegetables, and a tossed salad and an orange delight. And tomorrow they saw it serving roast pork, baked potatoes, broccoli, jello, and a carrot cake. And on Friday it's roast beef, scalloped potatoes, corn, fruit, and an apple sauce bar. I tell you, if you don't want to cook, visit the senior center. It's very appetizing. And our thought for today, just a thought we can think about for the rest of the day. Happiness is like a kiss. In order to get any good from it, you have to give it to somebody else. Happiness is like a kiss. In order to get any good from it, you have to give it to somebody else. So give it away and be happy. Have a great day.